An important part of Clive's business are his valuation tours, where members of the public can bring along their own items to have them valued by Clive. From time to time, apprentices from the Antiques Academy are invited to join him and his team. Throughout this course, we'll follow two of them, Laura and Opal, as they join Clive, David and Royston and learn what it's like to assess antiques in the real world. Is it Sean? Sean. Hello, nice, nice Sean. to meet you. you Teresa. Teresa. Thanks for coming along, Teresa. You're this welcome. is my apprentice. Hello there. Hi. Laura. Hi. Hi, Laura. Hi. Hey. What have you brought today for me? Um, I have brought in two rings that were left to me by my late grandmother. Um, one is a solitaire diamond ring, and the other is what we class as a champagne diamond with two emeralds. Um, they've been in my family for, well, as far back as I can remember. In fact, when I was five years old, I still remember them being on my grand's fingers, so I know that they are of some age. Um, and it's been a bit of a struggle whether or not to part with them, but unfortunately they don't fit my big fingers. So, yeah. you know, if somebody else can get some pleasure out of them, then why not? Can it be Cinderella? If it fits, can I take them? <laughs> Wait, yeah, why not? <laughs> can I have a look? Is that have a look at these diamonds yeah. we've got here? Now with diamonds, we've got a bit of clarity. That's quite a clean stone, which is nice. They are absolutely stunning. They yeah. always look good on her fingers, anyway. Absolutely. Yeah, when you look at when you look at diamonds, I've got to tell you all this. When you look at diamonds, this sort of size diamonds is not quite a nice size. You're looking for little black dots, and they're called carbon, carbon dots. If you've got any black dots in it, this diamond this size, this may be worth X, Y, Z. It's worth a fraction of the price. It's got flaws inside it. It's not going to have cracks inside it. But the worst thing is it's carbon. Mm -hmm. Black dots inside the diamond, it deteriorates from the diamond's value. Yeah, that's a nice size diamond, isn't it? Any idea Beautiful. of the size? No, I haven't a clue what the size is. I'm going to show Laura how to use a, a diamond gauge, OK? So this will be, if you look at the size of that ring, top of my head, I think, so that's going to be... More about a carrot and a bit, carrot and a quarter. Mm -hmm. it's, it doesn't quite fill it completely, no. so it's going to be between a carrot and a carrot point two. They call that, which is a, probably a carrot point one seven five almost. I mean, it's just down un, underneath. Yeah. So you start going bigger, it, it doesn't feel it. Yeah. So it's two. It's not two carrots, see. Yeah. It's not two and a half carrots. We can see from there. You know what I mean? That's yeah. Really, that's a, you go, the whole diamond's got to go in the circle of the whole thing. Right. Okay. You know, so it's more, just a, bit, a fraction more than a carrot, but not 1.2. Okay. You know, just know that one there. It's just a nice sized diamond, that is. Beautiful. Beautiful diamond. I do like it. And it's probably, what, 1930s, I think, 1940s? I would yeah. say that, yeah. Yeah, that sort of date, yeah. Yeah, because Gran, Gran was born in 1914, and then she married she, in 1920. And she so, moved to South Africa. Yeah, she so. moved to South Africa. and So, so that could be a South African diamond, It could be it? a De Beers diamond, De Beers as far diamond. as I know, oh. yeah. Oh. And this one, the size of that one? That says one and a half, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not one and a half. It's not quite one and a quarter again. Probably about a carat of a diamond, you say, would you? Yeah. It's fact, it's smaller than the other, isn't it? So. Yeah. And there's on the side there. Emeralds. They're nice dark emeralds. I believe they're called Sandawana emeralds, oh. which are sort of mined in, in Zambia. Yeah. And, the, and, the, and the mounts are in 18 carat. Is that right? So it's on the inside there. So. If you ever look closely, you can see 18 CT, oh, which yeah. means 18 carat. Is that the same as well, is it? That's got a bit of a platinum more 18 caps back again for you. And this, that's 18 carat, 18 CT. That's quite nice, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah. So the valuation on these things. Yes. Well, they have two nice rings. Yeah. I would say for the insurance valuation, I'd say they're probably worth seven, eight thousand pounds. Mm -hmm. For insurance valuation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's quite a surprise, isn't it? But they, they, is. You know, the, the <laughs> champagne diamond is a nice colour. I know. You it's, know. it's gorgeous. And the and the and the solitaire diamond is a nice, fashionable, yes. solitaire sized diamond ring. It is. You know, if you get, good clarity. And a good clarity. 
can definitely make a pair. I think they go from L to M and M to S and that sort of stuff. You know, yeah. you need a, a gemologist really to look at it properly. Yeah. Right, you know, so um, to get the proper clarity. So, you know, I take chances buying this stuff sometimes. Sometimes it's a good diamond. Yeah. Sometimes it's a bad diamond. Well, I think so. you've definitely got good ones there. Mm. Mm. They look very nice. They look very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look nice, yeah. Not that you're biased you know. at no, all. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> So, um, so I've said, said realistically, you know, for, for the insurance valuation, you're probably looking around, you know, seven thousand, eight thousand pounds for insurance. Okay. Lost them again. So, yeah. Are they something you maybe consider selling? Yeah. Yes, we okay. are toying with the idea of selling. selling. Yes. So if I said to you, if I said to you, a thousand pounds, my answer would say no. I'll be no, no, no. not not a What's thousand, that? not not Each for those. Or? No, no, <laughs> two, sure, two. Not bad, not bad. <laughs> um, so if I said to you, eighteen hundred, I wouldn't do that. They're nice rings, but I've got to make a profit, haven't I? I've got to sell them. I know, I know you've got to make Isn't a profit, there? but I, you know, I I know the value of them, and I know you've got. A really good deal. So a a thousand pounds a good deal. No, I, I think you could. I think you could go a bit more. Fifteen hundred, he said. Can we do fifteen hundred? Can we? I like the sound no. of him. He sounds good to me. Fifteen hundred. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll come down. I'll and I'll go up a little bit. I'll say seventeen hundred. I'm gonna say to you sixteen hundred. Take the money. I'll tell you what I say. I'll give you fifteen fifty. 1600 and you've got a deal. No, I'll give you 1550. No, 1600. Go on, I'll give you 1500. <laughs> Done deal. Done All deal. right. Well done, Sean. Well done. Yeah. What do you think? I think that was a great buy. Sure? Yes. Okay. 100%. <laughs> Maybe you fit your finger later. Like, huh? Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> that's why I wanted you to buy them just so that I could. So. Yeah. You can't have them, that's for sure. Have a bit of sparkle. <laughs>